Hey y'all, welcome back to Miss Bree Reads. I'm Miss Bree, and this week we have a new story. <laughs> the author writes the story, the illustrator draws the picture. We got the front up, ah. we got the back up, ah. we got the spine ah. The title of the story is The Dinosaur Who Discovered Hamburgers. Hamburgers! I think this is going to be a silly book. The Dinosaur Written Who Discovered and Hamburgers. By Addison Written books. and illustrated by Addison Books. Scout loved being a dinosaur. Of course, being a dinosaur had its perks. Dinosaurs were able to run faster roar louder, and were stronger than all the other animals. But the best part of being a dinosaur was that they were all big foodies. They loved going out to restaurants and enjoyed eating different foods. Ooh, wow. There were lots of dishes to choose from. Sushi, chicken, nuggets, pizza, and more. But Scout always felt like there was a great dish that was still missing. Scout decided to go seek it out, and so began the journey. Scout packed binoculars, a magnifying glass, a plate, a knife, a spoon, a fork, and a map. Scout searched far and wide, venturing through treacherous terrain. Scout climbed the highest mountains. Oh no, he should be careful. Crossed the hottest deserts. Oh man, I bet you he really wants some water. And waded through the thickest swamps. Whoa, what is that big thing back there? Scout was exhausted and ready to give up. Just as Scout was about to turn back, a strange forest appeared into view. It seemed the forest had oddly shaped fruit. Scout used the binoculars to look closer. Of course! This was a bread forest. It was filled with bread, buns, as far as the eye could see. Toasted buns, sesame buns, and brioche buns. Scout grabbed some and continued on. Scout left the forest and entered a valley filled with beautiful flowers. But again, something was odd about these flowers. Scout took out the magnifying glass and took a closer look. It looked like the petals of these flowers were made of pickles. Of course, these were pickle flowers. Scout grabbed some and continued on. Wow. Scout kept walking and came across two strange rivers. One river was red and the other was yellow. Scout got close to the rivers and took out the spoon. Scout dipped the spoon into each river and had a taste. One was sweet and one was sour. Of course! These were the great rivers of ketchup and mustard. Overjoyed, Scout packed some of each. Scout continued on and wandered by some large bushes that had a wonderful aroma. Scout reached into the backpack, pulled out the fork and knife, and started to poke into the bushes. Out came a meat patty and a slice of bacon grilled to perfection. Of course! These were... Bacon and patty bushes. Scout now had lots of ingredients and flavors to work with and started to head home, passing back through the rivers of ketchup and mustard, walking again through the fields of pickle flowers, trekking once more through the bread forest, wading back through the thickest swamps, recrossing the hottest deserts and climbing back down the highest mountains. Scout finally at home 
went into the kitchen and began to plan the meal. Scout tried many different combinations, but none of them seemed right. Then it came to Scout. Of course! Bun, ketchup, pickles, bacon, patty, mustard, and bun! The perfect order for the perfect dish. Now to taste our creation. Scout took a bite. It was good, but it still felt like something was missing. So Scout decided to visit Dr. Ham, the smartest dinosaur scientist in town, to see what they could come up with together. Dr. Ham showed Scout the newest technology in food processing. Scout stood and watched Dr. Ham's team toil and tinker with their formulas to come up with just the right addition to the dish. The machines hummed, the beakers boiled, and the gauges whirred. Voila! After the smoke cleared, all the dinosaurs looked upon their creation with wonder. <gasps> Is that an onion? Tomato? Lettuce? With the new creations ready for tasting, Dr. Ham began official scientific tests. I'll call this red ball with seeds. That's the tomato. This one will be named White Spicy Oval that makes you cry. That one is the onion. This shall be called Crunchy Green Leaves. That's the lettuce. Scout thought the names were a little long and suggested they name them Tomato, Onion, and Lettuce instead. The other dinosaurs agreed and were amazed at Scout's genius. Scout took slices of the new foods and added them into the new dish. Of course! This is what was missing. Scout tasted the creation and knew this was the perfect dish. Mmm. Scout shared his discovery with the other dinosaurs who all agreed that they loved this dish. Scout, thankful for all of Dr. Ham's help, decided to name the dish after the doctor. What is your full name, Dr. Ham? My full name is Dr. Ham Burger the 12th. I come from a long line of burgers. It's settled. The new dish would be called the Hamburger. All the dinosaurs loved eating Scout's new dish. Even the Velociraptor food guide gave it six claws way up. News of the dish spread quickly, and everyone had to try it. It was a hit! The dish was so popular that the dinosaurs even made an International Hamburger Day. Even movies were made to show how this amazing new dish was discovered. Scout felt happy and complete. The perfect dish was found, and all was right in the world. The end. And that's the end of our story, my little bookworms. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Remember, reading is a magical adventure that can take you anywhere you want to go. So keep reading and exploring new worlds. Until next time, for well, my friends. Subscribe and like. Comment what book you'd like to hear next. Miss Free Reads. Miss Free Reads. Stay curious and spread the joy.